How are you feeling? Hopefully more like yourself. I feel normal, which after everything I went through is strange. And there are still some things I don't fully understand. Sometimes to understand, we must look past what does not make sense and only take the world at its meaning. Who said that? I just did. I'm British, so everything I say sounds fancy. Anyway, glad to have you back. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Mick Foley! Sometimes, but other times I'm just known as mankind. What are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Cactus Jack was the most brutal man on Earth. And Mankind? Mankind ate the sins for all the world. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via Mix Special Pixie Dust. Besides, after what you've just been through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. The following contest is a hell in a Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. From Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China! in a cell, the most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE, and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, 
but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal Mankind, you know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day!
What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm, maybe a different brand then. Sure, show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card, but I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Chelsea Green won many major titles from independent promotions, but now is one of the top names in WWE. Uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too. Maybe after Chelsea gets the win tonight, the general manager will finally recognize her talents. Zelina might be little, but she is fierce. Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. So pathetic! Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. Such an incredible journey for this woman, but she knows a win tonight will take her even further. Wait, what is she doing out here? I hate to say it, but this is a flagrant disregard for the rules. Cap is being a real jerk here, inserting herself into this match. <gasps> a jerk? Oh my, Saxton, you must be upset. Get off the fainting couch and get with Cap. This is great. We're about to find out if this new attitude is more than skin deep. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. 
It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Drop kick to the knee, that's great strategy. You fire a shot like that to completely immobilize your opponent. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Drop kick to the back. She heads into the ring. Kendo stick impact. Oh! Oh! One wicked attack after another. Reversal, can they go on the attack? I don't rock anybody. And this one might be headed ringside. Running clothesline. Running hurricane run. And she goes for the pen. That could have been it right there. Oh, God. Delina escapes the attack. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. <laughs> She slips outside. What has she got in mind? <laughs> Bang! Some punishment with the chocolate. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. And you watch out. An agile escape. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Man, what a clothesline. Don't come over here. Cole, quick. Use Saxton as a human shield. Chelsea now. Chelsea on the receiving end. Then here come the punches. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an arm slot. Drop toe hold. Oh. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, and you can see the intensity growing with Green. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Well, I feel like she had bad intentions for that chair. She did a whole work there. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Down low with the drop kick. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Chelsea just running it in now. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rub on the road already. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Drop toe hold. Whoa, that was a stiff chair shot to the door. Successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Go for the run. The fallaway slam was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. DDT. And into the count. Kick out before the refs count. She's still in this one. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, double arm DDT! That could be it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, super threat matches are no cakewalk. And they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Oh, absolutely punishing. And the DDT. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Chelsea. 
as he's out of it. Completely in peril. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power ball. Exclamation delivered by Zelina. Oh, strong impact. She's looking for the win. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. She is still in this fight. these martial arts techniques to the test. Leg sweep takedown. Put her in a position now. And back into the ring she goes. Sidewalk slam. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. For the pin and the win. Yes. She kicks out with force. She is showing us something special. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. That's it. Vega just ended this. <laughs> Drop kick to the knee. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking from the top. Oh, Drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. She will wisely return to the ring now. Flipping pile driver spiked. That could have been it right there. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. <laughs> Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone. There's the eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Zelina is in big, big trouble. See a kick out there. Time to end this. She's going under the ring now. Roll the credits. This one's done. She's in the ring now. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Look out. Force. She just won't stay down. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Up and down. What a slam. Go behind applied. Taken down and then kicked right on the side of the face. Chelsea looking evasive. Stifled in this one. Chelsea now just trying to survive. We are witnessing the malicious string of attacks right now. The front face lock applied. Nice suplex. And now it looks like she's struggling for air. Continued shots to the core will do that to you. She avoids the attack completely. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. <laughs> Hooked up. And DDT. And Zelina delving deep in herself to pull off that offense. Yeah, Zelina able to unleash some hellacious offense to bring things to her favor. Oh, oh. oh my God, a close line. And Chelsea Green is channeling the energy of this crowd. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd. She wants it one more time. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Good night, nurse. Two. And a win here tonight. That'll change her career. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match.
She came into this match on a mission, determined to outlast and outwork both of her opponents. In that case, Saxton, I'd say mission accomplished. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So we're associated now? Shut up. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ugh. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Up aboard, it's go time for the captain. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A women's MMA pioneer. In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. She holds the record for most women's Royal Rumble eliminations and women's Elimination Chamber eliminations. It doesn't matter if she has one opponent or 29 in the ring or in a chamber. Shayna Baszler is always ready to fight. When the mouth guard goes in, the lights go out for her opponent. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. 
driven into the barricade. Compromised position here. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Just straining the body. Oh! Ah, Baszler, so devastating. Oh! Arm stomp by Baszler. I don't know if she cares. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Exploder suplex. Placing them right where they want. Up top. What a slap. What are they going to do up there? And the land, Spanish fly! Like they say, what goes up must come down, and that was a long way down. Face Buster! Driven down face first. Deliberate attack with intentions of cutting down their base. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Pulls the trigger. Bang! What a knee! Oh, mounting and now just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. One after another. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Baszler laying down the gauntlet for her opponent. Yikes. Oh, my! Oh, jeez, falling hard to the outside. Getting tossed out of the ring like that can do some long-term damage. I hope they're okay. She's losing some steam now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Oh, Ugh. stop right to the hand. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Hooked up. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? And I think we just might see. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Hazardous situation for Shayna. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE Universe. 
It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made, when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way! <laughs> 